Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Sunday, the fourth day of September 2022. Open your heart this morning and receive today's prayers and prophetic declaration. The Son of Man that, uh, that, uh, that the Son of Man that appeared to the three Hebrew boys in the fairy furnace that makes the number of the people in that furnace to be four. That same Son of Man is appearing to you today in your situation, in your condition, in your troubles, in the name of Jesus Christ. What the enemy had thought could bring you down, what the enemy thought they have concluded and they have already signed and sealed it, that there is no way you can come out of it. I see God Almighty bringing you out of that horrible pit. Is it a pit of debt? Is it a pit of abusive marriage? Is it a pit of death, pit of sickness, pit of whatever? I see the Almighty God intervening in your situation, and I see Him bringing you out by the mercies of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Today being Sunday, the first day of this week, the first Sunday in the month of September, I decree and I declare that the mercy of the Lord will overrule every satanic and demonic and writing over your life. Whatever judgment anybody might have passed against your life and family, the mercy of the Lord will overrule and set them aside in Jesus' name. I don't know who is that person that I've told you, whether secretly or openly, and say you will see. Somebody even said, we will see how you are going to make it in this place. I take your matter to the God of heaven, the God that saved Jacob from the horrible place of Laban. That same God is intervening in your matter and is bringing you out of that servitude and slavery in Jesus' name. As we begin this new week, by the mercies of the Lord, I pray that God's mercy and glory will see you and your family through. All ministers of the gospel, the grace and the mercy of the Lord shall be with you in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Beloved, this, this Sunday morning, let me just say a few testimonies and then we hear some important announcement. The first testimony all the way from the city of Jaws. It reads, Good morning, Daddy. May the peace of God go with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your coming to Jaws has been of blessing to me and my sisters. May the good Lord bless you and mommy immensely. I believe there is going to be a positive turnaround in my family because this topic of no more delay has been destroyed from my family. I believe in your ministry and what God is doing through you, sir. May the oil upon your life never run dry. Amen. More grace, Daddy, and regards to Mommy and your team. So, so person from Jaws, God bless you. We are grateful. Thanks for your hospitality, too. Another testimony. Testimony, testimony, testimony. I have come like the one leper to say thank you, Jesus, for his love and seal of, of protection upon my life and family. My daughter's car caught fire on motion while she was on her way to work on Friday, and the four doors could not could not open for them to jump out of the car. Your daily prophetic prayers for us on this platform has never been in vain. God of miracle did what he did for the three Hebrew boys. He pulled them out of the burning car and they were on hot. Hallelujah. Thank you, servant of the Most High God, for standing in the gap for us. Your anointing will never run dry. Heaven at last. My regards, my, my thanks giving also will follow. So, so person from Abuja. Praise God. In fact, this mama sent the picture of the car. It was by the grace of God that they survived that fire incident. To God be the glory. Another testimony. Good morning, Reverend Mike Kenyola. My name is also person from United States. I want to testify to the goodness of God over my life and my family. Number one, God. I thank God for the salvation of my soul and my family. Number two, God's protection, provisions, and preservation. Number three, God recently gave one of my daughters a new job with the position of a manager through your prayers. Number four, I'm healed of a very sharp pain on my waist 
and body pains through your prayers on the 19th of July. Number five, God averted death from my family through your prayers on the 21st day of August. Praise the Lord, to him be the glory. Indeed, the God of Reverend Mike Kenola is an awesome God. What he cannot do does not exist. Reverend, may the Almighty God continue to protect you, your family, and your team. And may he anoint you afresh and keep you for us in this generation. And you will not preach others to the kingdom and be a castaway in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The same thing to you, my sister. Another testimony. Good morning, Daddy. My name, Soso Person. I must share this testimony to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Last week, my sister and niece were kidnapped in Jalingo, Taraba State. I sent you a test message immediately, and you responded that God will intervene. Indeed, God intervened, and they were set free untouched and unhurt. I returned all the glory back to God for confirming the word of his servant, Reverend Eniola. Praise God. Thank God for that safety and timely intervention. Another testimony. Good morning, man of God. May the anointing of God never depart from you. I have numerous testimonies, but we share a few to the glory of God. First, on the 15th of July, I sent you a message in tears about how I was losing it because nothing seems to be working out for me and my family. And you replied that I will come out of it. And I said a big amen, and I kept praying. Man of God, God has proven himself. I never knew I was worrying for nothing. Secondly, on the 13th day of August, you pray for those partnering with Hour of Destiny. I claim the prayers because for two years now, I've been sharing the daily devotional every day to family and friends. You pray that we will not experience any form of loss and our expenditure, expenditure will not be more than our income. After, after the message, I was marveled because I bought an item online and resort to someone in another state, only for her to say it's not working and asking for a refund. Meanwhile, the person that sold it to me said she won't collect it back. I was not happy about it, and I was worried because I've used the money. But after hearing that message on Saturday morning, I started praying, and I told God I must testify concerning that item I sold. Man of God, I didn't, hear from the, I didn't hear from the person again after a week plus. I chatted, I chatted her up, asking how far if she wasn't returning the item again, only for her to say I shouldn't bother again. I didn't believe my ears. This can only be God. I'm so, so person from me, but don't praise God. Another one. Good morning, Reverend Mike Kenola. My name is so, so person from Adamawa State. My testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yesterday, you pray that anyone that needs to bless you will not have peace until he bless you. I was traveling from Adamawa to Bauchi for a promotional exam. When, we, when, I, when I got to the park, after I have paid for my ticket, getting to the bus, bus, I met my colleagues who also was going for promotional exam and asked me, have, have I paid for the ticket? And I said, yes, and returned my money back to me. After you finished praying for us, I said, God should multiply my transport, and it came to pass. I want to return all the glory to God, the miracle worker. Amen. Let me take the last one for this morning. This one says, Good afternoon, sir. This is coming from Lagos. This is my testimony. Last year, August, I lost three months pregnancy. I bled in my heart since then, have been trying to conceive. Going to hospital, still no conception. The last month of July, when you asked us to prepare for communion, so I told my husband, this is the time that God will bless us. And unlike him, he joined me in the prayer, and we took the communion together. This month of August is like a joke. I went, to, I went for pregnancy test. The result came out positive. I have come to return all glory to God Almighty, because he has done what no man can do. That, that God did it for me, we also meet, you will also meet other people at the point of their knees in Jesus' name. As for you, Reverend Yola, as you are walking in God's vineyard, God will also walk in your own vineyard. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. My daughter, the Lord will keep that pregnancy for you. You will not lose this one. You will carry it to times. I use you as a point of contact to other pregnant women. There shall be no loss in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, please, beloved, listen to this important announcement. Tomorrow is Monday, the first Monday of September. We're going to be having our headquarters church here in Lokoja. The breakthrough and healing service, it comes once in a month. And that is first Monday of the month. The, st the service starts by 9 a.m. Several people have been coming. This one is going to be unique because we're going to be having a communion service in this breakthrough and healing service. So what we are going to do, everybody as you are coming, for those of you that will be physically on ground, come, come with the wine, come with the bread, so that even after praying and blessing it, you can take it home and be using it with your family. But in case if you are not able to lay hand on the communion material, we have a shop within the church premises where those items are sold. So you can come, you get the material, communion materials in the church premises, you get anointing oil, and some other materials that you may need. Hallelujah. That's one. Then number two, several people have been asking that they want to join this Hour of Destiny Hope via Telegram. This. We actually See have some other a time Telegram channel we called Hour of Destiny. We have close to 5,000 people on that channel. So what we'll do is we'll tomorrow, we'll, we'll release, we'll, we'll post the link to join the Telegram channel. But one thing we don't want to be doing is that some people instead of joining the link to be part of the channel, you still want us to be sending our destiny to them one-on-one -on -one via the telegram. It is tasking. But once you use the link that we're going to send out tomorrow and follow that link, connect to our telegram channel, once we put it there, you're automatically a member of that link. It is cheaper and faster on telegram. And also very soon, by the grace of God, we are working on having a website 